before we get started, if you're into tech hi-fi or movies, be sure to push the subscribe button for new weekly videos. Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to do what I call a AAA build. This is going to be Antec gear, AS Rock gear, and AMD gear, right? So this is kind of a NVIDIA Intel killer. This thing is best of breed from those brands and is an amazing gaming and creativity PC. So stick around, we're gonna put all this stuff together and I'm gonna tell you about each of the components and why this might be the perfect high-end value PC that destroys the competition. As we get started, I wanted to say thanks to Antec for sending over their P20C ARGB case, their NE1000G PSU, and their Vortex 360 ARGB AIO cooler. I've been a huge fan of Antec for years, and I think as you watch this video, you'll understand why, because their stuff is really good. And the first thing I wanna talk about is this case. So this is what I consider to be a traditional case, meaning that it's set up like a traditional PC build is set up. Uh, PSU either at the bottom or the top without big chambers on the opposite or back side of the system board itself. Pluses for the case are the size. It's a narrow, so it fits in a lot of places that some of the dual chamber, uh, really wide cases won't fit. It's very easy to build in, has all of the connectivity that you need, and it also includes three RGB fans that are very nice. On the negative side, if you do want to mount your GPU vertically, it might be tight. So if you have one of the larger ones like we're using now, it might not fit in a vertical orientation. So make sure you check that before you get started. For system board duties, we've tapped the AS Rock X670E Tai Chi Carrera. This is about as good as you can get for a AMD Ryzen ecosystem board. So it supports the 7000 series processors. It's got four DDR5 DIMMs, two PCIe 5 X16 slots. It's even got a PCIe Gen 5 X4 blazing fast M2 as they call it uh, for your storage. So this does everything and it looks good in white and you know, if you like that marbled look, this is the one for you. Being installed on this board is the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D processor. Yeah, pretty cool. For RAM, we're going with a G-Skill Trident Z5 RGB because we need some of that pretty, pretty color. And then for storage, we're going to use a Crucial T700 Pro NVMe, which is one of the fastest ones available. Now let's watch as we install the components and make sure to notice that there is a really cool fan cooled heat sink for the NVMe. Everything else is pretty straightforward, including the installation into the case.
With the system board mounted, it's now time to install the PSU, the AIO, and all the fans, cable everything up, and then install the GPU. To get started, we're gonna install this Antec PSU, and this is a very traditional style PSU. There's nothing strange about this. If you've installed one before, this is much of the same. Now, this PSU does include the new power cables for the new uh, NVIDIA video cards. We are using the AMD card, so we don't need to use that, uh, but make sure that you identify the power cables that you do need ahead of time, plug those in, and then install the PSU. It'll make things go a little bit easier for you. For the fan, I have that facing down at the bottom as that is going to draw in cool air there and then expel it out the back. The Vortex 360 installation is pretty straightforward as well. Basically, you unbox it, you'll then attach the fans to the radiator and then install the unit. Um, it includes all of the screws and uh, thermal paste, everything that you need. Uh, the instructions do not specifically call out the AM5 socket. However, this works fine with that, no problem with no additional parts needed. The final piece of the puzzle is the GPU. Yeah, this is the special sauce that makes every build special, right? Since this is an AMD build, we decided to go with the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX, the AS Rock Tai Chi White 24 Gigabyte Overclock Edition. This thing is an absolute beast. It is humongous. It's got three power headers on it. It's even got an ARGB header so you can add light strips right off the video card if you wanted to. Um, one thing that I really like is that there's a switch right on the card that allows you to change uh, between BIOS settings. So you can go with a performance or a quiet setting right on the card. Nothing to do inside of the software. Just flip the switch and you're in good shape if you need to quiet it down for whatever reason. So check this out as we install it and then we will see the final product. And there we have it, the AAA build featuring AMD, Antec, and AS Rock. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, ring the bell, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next adventure.